Hello, my name is Rudolf and I'm here at the Glasgow College of Nautical Studies to present my HMD project. This project is a driving gear for a mini remote operated vehicle. As you can see here, I have four electrical motors. They are DC brushed motors and they are connected to four electronic speed controllers. They are bi-directional speed controllers. That means the speed, electronic speed controllers can drive the motors clockwise and counterclockwise. I designed and built these electronic speed controllers myself to operate with the microcontroller Pololo, as you can see there. This is a 12 channel microcontroller. And uh, over here on the left, you can see an electronic speed controller that has four MOSFETs uh, forming a full H bridge. And over here I put a safety device, which is an optocoupler, to isolate the microcontroller electrically from the speed controllers. So if there is a fault on the speed controllers, that will not affect the microcontroller. And here I have the cables that connect the microcontroller and the electronic speed controllers. These cables are uh, braided so it can reduce uh, the problem with interference. Over here I have the power supply, which is a standard ATX power supply, which I had to modify to be able to use in this project. Over here, as you can see, there is a dummy load and I had to short stick a couple of wires here and here. That's to go around a few, feature, a few safety features which would prevent me from running this power supply as a bench power supply. Also to prevent um, short circuits, I uh, I put some connectors in the end of the loose wires and I connected this power supply to these connectors over here. One is the positive which is 12 volts and the other one is the negative which is 0 volts. And these connectors connected, connect the power supply to a to 25 meter cable. It goes all along here. And they connect back to these connectors here, which connected, they are connected to the electronic speed controllers. That's, pos that's positive and negative. I select a 25 meter cable so I can simulate a situation where the remote operated vehicle is 25 meters away from its control unit. Over here I have the USB cable that, con that connects to a USB hub as you can see here. I decide to put a USB hub in the remote operator vehicle because it gives me the flexibility of putting a camera inside of the vehicle so I can see where it goes because the camera transmits the images to the computer which is the control unit in real time so I can see what's, uh, where I'm going. Over here I have a USB extender. This extender allows me to extend my USB connection for 50 meters. And uh, I can connect to the control unit over here. I can, as you can see, the USB is converted to a CAT 5, CAT 6 and convert back to USB 
And over here is the control unit, which is my laptop. And I have on the right here uh, is the Pololo software, which came with, which comes with uh, the microcontroller. You just have to download from the site. And uh, over here on the left, you have the um, interface, the software that makes the interface between the Pololo's software and the joystick. So I use that software to control the Pololo software with a joystick. As you can see, I put the joystick forward and the slides on the Pololo software moves. If I put right and left, the slides on the Pololo software which controls the microcontroller moves accordingly. Now I will turn on the turn on the power supply. So I will position myself behind the control unit. The four motors are uh, ready to go. So I will just demonstrate now that I move forward in the joystick, and my motor number one goes forward. As I move back. Side to side. Now I can move them all together as I rotate my joystick. And I have the wheel on the back that controls motor zero, which has no propeller shaft. This is my HND project presentation and I hope you found it interesting. And if you have any comments, any questions, uh, just drop me a line on my YouTube video and I will try to reply to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.